Speaking of a downer, can we talk about a downy? Uh oh. Once. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about the news that broke the internet, Johnny. It's all my Instagram is now. <sighs> you still are on Instagram week. <laughs> is it breaking your TikTok too? Then. Yeah, I'm on TikTok <clears throat> and Twatter, all, all the above. Dude, I'm still on MySpace. So what are you talking uh, dude, about? Dude, I'm I'm on I'm rocking the Tumblr train. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm on Reddit. I actually <laughs> did. I actually did do a Reddit search to uh to prep for this cast. You went deep. You went deep dived. Dude, All right. Explain to tonight's what you're talking about. So was it at San Diego Comic-Con? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's at SDCC. That's what my understanding was. The big room. Marvel's got their convention. Hall H. <clears throat> and they're doing this big reveal. Like they're revealing who's going to portray Victor Von Doom, who some argue is the biggest villain in the Marvel universe. I think it's definitely top three. You know, he's up there with Thanos, basically. I don't know which one I would rank higher. What do you think, Johnny? Oh, Thanos over Victor. Mm, okay. One needed a whole Avengers to take him down. Victor gets thrown down by the Fantastic Lame. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I would say they're, they're, he is part of the big three, though, right? In my mind? Am, am I wrong? Yeah. We, we'll go into it, but Marvel always lacks in villains in my in my eyes. I, I So if, if you were to ask me, I would know, like, so pre-MCU, I would have known Galactus. I would have known Victor Von Doom. And I probably would have known Thanos. I mean, this is what, 15 years ago? Well, you know, ago? Kingpin, right? I mean, Spider-Man. We, we, we watched <laughs> Spider-Man growing up. Yeah, but I'm talking like, you know, Avenger-level threats. I think you're funny, I don't think it's ever Avenger, but... but Johnny, kiss me through the microphone. You're so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, let's talk about it. So they revealed Robert Downey Jr. is this. It sounds like you're negative about it, is what I'm hearing. Well... If you notice, knights that are listening, I have an encyclopedia of Marvel right here. And we can look up Victor Von Doom and see if he was previously Iron Man. <laughs> or if his nope. name is Tony Stark. <laughs> no, it's not. It doesn't say it was Iron Man. So, so let's is, redo it all. Is Victor Von Doom like his real name? Like <laughs> that's his actual name? <laughs> yeah, they uh, they named him well. <laughs> that's like the joke on uh, <laughs> Coach Veratu on Rick and Morty. There's a vampire. <laughs> He's really on the nose on that one. <laughs> Wait, Coach Veratu, that was his actual name. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, he's also a doctor, so the you know the PH screening people are not doing a good job. A lot of a lot of uh, Marvel supervillains all have PhDs, so Dude, so it's not good. I mean, I think you and I. Oh, you know what? I know. I know why you're so bitter. It's because we talked about this, and this was the rumor on the internet. It was supposed to be Killian Murphy playing Victor Von Doom. Yeah, I feel like everything is Killian Murphy, but. But so we called that three years ago and you were so excited. That's why. Yeah. You're Just because he's he'd be good. He would have been the perfect Victor Von Doom right off the right off the heels of Oppenheimer. I almost wonder if they were like schedule a guy or like a studio exec is like schedule a meeting with that guy from Oppenheimer. He did, he did a good job. And they're like, oh, OK. And they look through and they're like, oh, he must be talking about Mr. Stark. Let's just schedule it. <laughs> and the exec was too embarrassed. Like once Tony walks in, you can't be like, oh, I meant Killian. Like you just got to. <laughs> You got to be like, you know what? You got the job. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it is interesting that they, okay. So there's a, there's a few different options. So my initial reaction is I'm not excited, but I'm not like disappointed. I'm super intrigued because I think there is a possibility of taking this in like really cool story directions, but I don't think they're going to do that, but there is a possibility. Well, like I said, villains are what's always lacking in the MCU, right? Yes. I think if he was never in Iron, that's my biggest thing is I'm going to think of him and see Tony Stark, right? Robert Downey Jr. You're going to think Tony Stark yeah. unless they hide his face really well. Uh, and that's why in Thor, right? They didn't want to hire someone who's known for something else. They wanted someone new. Right. So you don't get um, or someone out of the universe, right? So that's what's throwing me off. But then the more I thought about it, though, if we want a complex villain, he could do it. I don't know if the writings are for Marvel because isn't um well they said they said it's going to be the same writers as Endgame right and in Infinity War the the Russo brothers Russo brothers right which and, have, and from Community you can't leave that yeah out. yeah yeah well I was going to say they're they're my favorite out of all of them they did do a lot of mess ups which we and you argue about about Captain America ruining the timeline and no one cares and then him and the yes. whole him and Black Widow uh, missed opportunity but that's you know that's fine. Uh, but they're not that complex, though. They're really good with action scenes. It's and isn't Ron Howard involved? And Ron Howard totally ruined um, the DCEU when he took over the Justice League movie. Did Ron Howard do that? Are you talking about Joss yeah. Whedon? No, no, no. Wait, was it Whedon? I thought it was Howard. 
I think it's Joss Whedon who took oh. over Justice League and filmed it for Zack Snyder. Oh, okay. Well, either way, the Marvel people who do Marvel make it kind of campy and they don't make it as complex as you want for a, 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 a villain, right? It's true. What I'm hearing is that Robert Downey Jr. has the, the acting chops to do it. The Russo brothers at times have had the directing chops, but we're very unsure about all of this. It feels it feels like a Harry, Mo- Harry a Hail Mary, doesn't it? A Harry Potter. <laughs> I meant to say Hail Mary. Well, nerd out like for a, me for a minute. Yes. This is part of the MCU, right? Fantastic Four. Yes. Now, Loki ruined the timelines. <laughs> right. Are they going to fix the timeline? I know the Avenger 5 that they're trying to drop. All right, this is the fifth one, right? It's going to be all new people. They're going a new direction. How do they want the audience to feel with Robert Downey Jr. as the villain? Yeah, I don't know. And I don't know how much... Because it's a different timeline, right? Have you seen Deadpool and Wolverine yet? No, you can spoil it away. I haven't seen it yet. I I fell a little ill, so I'm just coming out of it. So I I will see it this week at some point. Um, but I wasn't able to see it opening night like I wanted to. But even then, that one doesn't. It's trying to fix the timeline, but you don't. You're never going to get it back to the alpha timeline or prime timeline. No. Which is fine because it's not like Tony Stark became Victor Von Dune. They're not well, pulling that. I like that you say that, Johnny. So I wrote down four possibilities of what it could be, and I want you to give me each one. If you hate it, love it. Okay. Um. All right. You ready for it? Yeah. So it's a Tony Stark variant. This means that he's technically Tony Stark, so he's going to have the same face, but, like, something went terribly wrong. So, like, an example is, like, maybe the Winter Soldier killed his parents, but he killed his parents, like, way earlier and kidnapped the baby that was with them. Because Winter Soldier in the OG timeline kills, you know, Tony's parents. It just happened way earlier. Kidnapped him as a baby, and he's raised by Hydra and given the new name Victor Von Doom. Okay. So that one's fine, in my opinion. That's I feel like that's plausible. Hmm. So he's Tony Stark somehow, and something terrible happens, and he's basically adopted as Victor Von Doom. But that's if you don't go back to the prime timeline, though, right? Isn't, right. Wasn't so that their goal? Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I don't know how that works. I always get confused on what their goal is. Dude, they don't know. <laughs> they don't know. They had it already written past Endgame, but once Disney takes over, they don't know. This is literally what happened with Star Wars. Let's just bring back Palpatine. Let's just bring back RDJ, and things will be fine. <laughs> That didn't work. That's not. Uh, that's not a thing. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Okay, so the next one is it's one actor playing two characters. So they won't do any anything to differentiate them. We won't even talk about it. He's just going to be playing Victor Von Doom now, um, and that's that. You know, we won't acknowledge that Victor Von Doom looks just like Tony Stark. Well, it's if he's wearing the mask and stuff, you can hide it. Or... So that's one. Of, it's a whole different option, Johnny. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go into that one next. So. But let's assume he's not wearing the mask that much or he is, but he takes it off at times. I got you. He's just, he's just a normal actor. And I think we can agree. We hate that. That's dumb. Then we're not, the audience isn't that dumb. Yes, I agree. Thank you. We hate it. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. (laughs) Okay. But it has happened in Marvel. There's a few characters. There's a few actors who've played multiple people. So yeah, but they're like, Let's see actors, man. Not even. (laughs) I mean, how many times do you see someone working on, um, they're like at shield operating something and then they're a hitman for someone else, you know, like it's yes. not <laughs> well, a henchman. The big one is, so she danced with captain America in the first, you know, the first Avenger film, the first captain America movie. And then it ends up being Peter Quill's dad or excuse mom. Peter Quill's mom ends up being the same actress, oh. <laughs> but she's in it for like three frames, like three seconds, maybe not three frames, mm-hmm. three seconds. Maybe she just asks for an autograph or dances. Something happens. I think she asked for an autograph. And then later it's Peter Quill's mom. So people have joked that she's a, you know, she doesn't age. She's an adult. <laughs> I like that theory. I like that one too. That one, that one you can have some fun with. Yeah. Not That's someone fun. who's had the most solo movies in Marvel. I like the idea of her, like not being able to age. And then she meets the celestial. And, and part of that is why the spark worked in Peter Quill. Like that's a fun <laughs> theory. <clears throat> I like that theory. Yeah. So we both hate him being one actor, two characters where you still see his face. Mm -hmm. Um, the next one, I don't hate this one. So this is basically prosthetics turn him, you know how, uh, in the new Batman movie, uh, the penguin, yeah, the penguin, how it was all prosthetics Mm -hmm. and he looks nothing like the actor. Yeah. You you didn't even know it was, um, what's his face. I was about to say Phil Collins. It's not Phil Collins, Colin Farrell, Colin Farrell. Yeah. I mean, they're making his TV series. So yeah, you couldn't tell it was him. Dude. It was, it was some of the best makeup work I've ever seen in that performance. You couldn't hear him. 
You couldn't see him. He yeah. just melted into that role. If RDJ did something like that, I would be so cool with that. Because he has, he has the acting chops to be able to do that. That would be so much fun if you didn't even recognize that it was him. I don't know. I think that's cool. Or, or if he's just always in the mask. That was the other option. Yeah, because you can get away with that. I mean, technically cool the first that. Boba Fett, right? Mandalorian. They kind of only had the helmet on. Yeah. Or, yeah, I love that. Or uh, so Doctor Strange voices Dormammu. I don't know if you knew that no. at the end of the first one. Yeah. So Benedict Cumberbatch is technically one actor playing two characters. But if you have enough CGI, <laughs> if you have enough voice work, it's fine. We're okay with it. It's cool. Um, okay. The last option. So I think that one we're, we're both cool with, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The last option was a body swap, swap. And this is fun because it makes me think of the Flash. So at some point in the DC universe, the Flash and Lex Luthor swap bodies. Uh-huh. Um, maybe the best joke of the entire like uh, Justice League show. Is he goes, well, at least I'll finally learn. So it's it's Lex Luthor in the Flash's body. And he goes, at least I'll finally learn the secret identity of the Flash. And he takes off the mask and looks in the mirror. <laughs> Who's this goes, guy? I have no idea who this is. <laughs> this is just Wally West. Like, some yeah. Know. It's not He's like not Bruce anybody Wayne important. Or... <laughs> I know. If he had switched with Bruce Wayne and it was like, holy crap. <laughs> billionaire Bruce Wayne. Are we kidding? Uh... <laughs> um, anyway. Okay. So... This one has to do more with like if if there's a film called Selfless where someone's dying and they switch bodies. It, you, you've seen this a bunch, right, in comics where and this actually happened in a, in a Marvel comic book where Robert Downey or not, excuse me, Iron Man, so Tony Stark and Victor Von Doom switched bodies for whatever reason. You know, one of them was dying. Got it. I don't know. It's some deep cut comic book series, but that's one of the that's one of the uh, options is they switch. They do a little body swap, um, kind of like you and I do. They do a Freaky Friday, you know. <laughs> when the lights start flashing and we grab the same DVD. <laughs> and then we turn into the, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so they Freaky Friday it. That's what we'll call it. What okay. are your thoughts on this one, man? Um, yeah, the, no. <laughs> Cause that's going to lead to too much. I mean, is, is it going to be a solo <laughs> fantastic four movie? Are they building them in to be on Avengers five? Like, what are they? I don't, dude, they, no one knows. They just announced this. And it really, it just feels like they didn't know what to do. So, like, literally, they're just bringing Palpatine back. Like, people recognize RDJ. They love it. There's there's a, a meme mm. you sent me, and, and one of them was like, let's go back to the cash cow. And the cash cow's face was uh, Robert Downey Jr., right? Uh, and the cow was already just drained, though. <laughs> it was, like, famished. It looked like. Yeah. Famished. So it's like, how are you going to milk this <laughs> when it's already done? Oh, um, the only thing, here's what I will do, and that's only because it's going to help our nerd hearts, is if they somehow do it and Iron Man shows up and you pop out the mask and guess who it is? Tom Cruise. <laughs> Dude, I had that right? same thought. I right? literally had that same thought. How cool would it be as if in this universe Tom Cruise was Tony Stark? That would be And hilarious. for you nerds who aren't as nerdy as me and Jay, Tom Cruise actually um, was originally cast as Iron Man. I mean, they took some prototype shots, maybe, right? I think he or... was offered the role, and he ended up passing because of scheduling issues, and it fell to RDJ. Yeah, and it was a life changer. It's one of those things that it's easy to think now, but it's not like Tom Cruise wouldn't be great at it, but it, it's just a different role. People are always like, he would have sucked at it, and I'm like, what? Like... Tom Cruise is incredible. He would have been fine as Iron yeah. Man. He, would he have reached that level? No, but he would have been a 9 out of 10. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. Just, is a perfect 10, but he would have been yeah, a 9 out of 10. Looks like it. He's even has a calm ego demeanor, demeanor it would be right? different, yes. Yeah. Cruise has a little bit more, too much energy. Way more uh, uh, like swag. Yeah, but it would work for a funny cameo. Swagger is what I meant to say. Swagger, too much swag, swag hound. Yes. But yeah, I think, I think that would be my only like piece. <laughs> Unless they do like a super complex villain, uh, you know, that has emotions that fights that when, when you lean more towards the villain than you do for the, the protagonist, right? You like the antagonist more sometimes, uh, i.e. I. Jokers, right? All the Jokers you've typically loved more, not more than Batman, but you've you've been like, OK, this guy's great. And they've overdone that too, though. Even even in DC, yeah, you know, like, can't do it again. All the Arkham games, it's like, and it's secretly the Joker, and you're like, can yeah. you like do like Riddler, like. You guys do know that, like, uh, there's another uh, Victor Freeze, another Victor, who's, like, <laughs> maybe one of the best characters ever written uh, in terms of villain. yeah, no, and, and another one too, who's like just you can relate to him. He's trying to save his wife. That's why he's evil, you know. Dude, I love Victor Freeze. 
but but I'm so just saying good. like it, it 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 can be done. The more I think about it, I'm like they do need a better villain. They haven't had a good villain in a while. Complex villain, right? Thanos is a big baddie, but it's not like he's complex. There was a meme, and maybe I sent it to you, where it's uh, it's RDJ, and it's like you either live long enough to you either die a oh, hero, yeah. or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And yeah. then below it, he says, "Why not both?" <laughs> Because he did uh, die the hero, so yeah, and now he's the villain. He's and again, you can make up a hero. messed up timeline because that's what they did. So <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, it's. I'm really nervous that they're not going to do something that's satisfying and subverts my expectations. They're either going to subvert my ex- expectations, or they're going to do something stupid. They're not going because it's so hard to do. You know what I mean? You can do something that's shocking, but it doesn't necessarily make it good. Well, I, I was still hoping maybe he'd make a cameo appearance on five, right? But yeah. now there's no point. Right now, you definitely can't. I, I my mean, you curiosity. Can... Does, so let me ask you this, Johnny. Sorry, did you want to say something? I was going to say that if if we're gonna if we're gonna blow it all up, we we know who we're gonna cast as the the Human Torch. He's right behind you <laughs> on your wall, Chris Evans himself, the original one. If we're gonna do this, let's do it. That'd be amazing. Um, Biggest redemption gonna, story of of the millennia. I was going to ask you, Johnny, does Robert Downey Jr. doing it? Do you think it's just a paycheck? So, question number one: Do you think it's just a paycheck, or two, do you think that it gives like some validity to this? Like, because he agreed to come on, do you think that there's a good story in place and they have a good plan, and he was cool with it, or do you think he was just like, I guess option three is he's just bored because he's got more money than than uh, <laughs> yeah, than kings, than kings of kings, yes. <laughs> the the. The thing is, I, I can see both. I mean, maybe he wants a challenge. And what has been the biggest disappointment uh, in the whole Marvel mo- cinematic? Not not the MCU, because they haven't been on there. Um, live action has been Fantastic Four, right? Oh, yes. Like the biggest Barnum. like live action yeah. um, Marvel-based Fantastic shows. Fantastic Four film sucks. Even in, even in uh, not WandaVision, uh Multiverse of Madness. Fantastic Four still is garbage. Like Yeah, and they and they had Mr. Fantastic as his gym, you know, um John Krasinski, which we have wanted. We've all wanted that one. And he gets spaghetti in like two seconds. Yeah, and it wasn't even like a good cameo. Oh so dumb. Yeah. It's a dumb cameo. As much as he ate like the cinematography, and he was he you could tell when they did when they did that, I was like, he did such a good job. And that movie just sucked. And they yeah. couldn't figure it out. They so so biggest letdown ever is that. So I don't know if he's gonna be like not only did I make the MCU, I brought the worst live action characters and made it big. Maybe I'm going to go more if it's ego. Maybe that's driven. I don't think it's money. If it was money, he would have done a uh, Iron Man five. Right. I like that ego. And so you're saying that it doesn't necessarily make the, it good. Like it doesn't his stamp of approval. Cause I would say, I would argue right now, Robert Downey Jr. Is the most uh, influential actor of all of our time right now. Meaning like if he's in it, people will go see it. Oh, uh, Marvel based, hundred percent, right? Yes. As a kid, say hundred percent. Yeah, I would say even without Marvel, if he was headlining in a film, people would go see it just because he's in it. Yeah, I mean, there's a few from like more, that. more of a draw than him. Just that new Twister guy's been all over the place. That's true. Uh, but I mean, he, he has a, he has a good name to him. Um, it was funny. So right before, uh, so all the shots have finally released of people in Hall H listening to the the reveal, right? One of them was right before uh, Robert took out his mask. Some guy yelled, some guy yelled, Jared Leto. And I thought that was funny. <laughs> like right before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I thought that was really funny. That would have uh, been hilarious. Imagine that, doing all that hype for Jared Leto. That yeah. Even the true kiss of death on Marvel. Yeah. And it's not like Jared Leto's a bad actor. He might've been better at this than the Joker, but. Oh dude, that Joker though. The thing is, is he's just been in so many superhero films like Morbius and the Joker. It just doesn't just, work. It just dude, doesn't work. Yeah, he just no. And it's he, rare. Like it's rare films. for, yeah, it's rare for Chris Evans to be a mediocre Human Torch, but that whole movie's mediocre, and then be amazing as Captain America. That's rare, yeah. right? Um. So, so we'll see. I, I'm, I think Marvel is just grasping at straws. Everything they've released since. Uh, let's say, is it No Way Home? Far From Home? What's the... Far From Home. Uh, Far... No Way Home. No Way Home, no Way Home right? The last Spider-Man that they legally could do. Um, it's all been downhill. Every three movies they've only released, four movies in the past f- five years. Dude, it's been bad. Even even the ones that even are this terrible year. are not good. 
What what did they only the MC only released one. Madam Web was not part of Marvel there. I think that's Sony. But it was so bad. Oh, it was horrible. But Sony is ruins everything with that. What 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 was the Spider Man before? I mean they didn't ruin it, but Spider Man wasn't anything great. The amazing Spider Man. Yeah, well they also had the original. The, the, oh, the, the yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they did okay in Venom. Venom was fine. Really. Yeah, they did okay in Venom. And I mean they even amazing Spider Man. People say that's the Andrew Garfield is their Spider Man. Yeah, that Which feels more like Andrew Garfield's a really good actor and less like Sony knows how to make a good film to me. Yeah, or just it was enduring enough to watch and heartbreaking enough to watch too. Yes. Okay, Johnny, give me give me a prediction on this. Sometimes how Mary's will work, right? I want to know whether or not is RDJ your star receiver about to catch a touchdown in So the how corner? much how much of this is Victor Von Doom based and not Fantastic Lane based? You know? Will the Avenger movies be a success with with Robert Downey Jr.'s Victor Von Doom? Well, he's, I don't think he's the main protagonist. I'm I'm so confused whether they're going to use him. Okay, let's say no it's matter what, Avengers Doomsday, Johnny, they're going to okay. use him. They're going to okay. use him. So on that one, you know, I, I will say you and me are going to give it an eight out, eight point five out of ten. That's high, Johnny. I know. So you're I think we're going to be. Good. I think we're going to fall in love with half of the new cast. So like Deadpool and Wolverine, I think they're going to use them in the, I mean, I saw a screen grab, but I don't know if that was just fan art or not. Right. Uh, as the new Avengers, right. Still on the fence about the Falcon uh, as cap. Uh, yeah. Maybe his and, new movie will be good, but I will yeah. worry about it, bro. And then, um, and then Bucky has like the B team of the Avengers, like the, 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 the JV squad that he's running. <laughs> Uh, so I don't even know how big the Avengers are going to be to go against them, but it depends on the 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 main cast because the movie's not going to be about Victor Von Dune. It's like half of it, right? So here's my bold take, Johnny, and you're going to hate it. You're going to absolutely hate it. Are you ready? I'm waiting. It? Okay, so James Gunn is going to basically Marvel and DC I'm out. are going <laughs> to Marvel and DC are going to swap. So DC used to like rush into these films that were still good. I still enjoyed like. Not not like I enjoyed Snyder's Justice League, Batman vs Superman. Like they're dumb movies, but I enjoyed them because there's they're interesting. I don't know. There's something about them. So the I think first that Wonder it, Woman movie was great. Wonder Woman movie was really good. Uh, the first Aquaman really good. So we're basically yeah, and I and I like Shazam. Shazam was for what it was for. It was yes. nice. So basically, that's what Marvel's going to turn into. Like these are going to be fine films, but it's not going to be like the Winter Soldier where you and I love them. So they're going to turn into solid sevens. But I genuinely think that James Gunn is going to produce some tens for you to where you're like going to be in love. with. I don't know, dude. I'm still annoyed. Hey, fired everybody. Yeah, it's true. I don't know when 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 the Superman agrees to come back and you go, "Eh, no, thanks. I that's why Johnny, that's why it's such a bold take. Is it is super bold. I mean, you and me giving something an eight is a bold take because, you know, we've been old, bitter nerds. So I, like I wasn't willing decade. to sign off on you with that. So that's why I was like, they're going to, they're going to crisscross applesauce. I hope so. I think Marvel needs to be put in its place in a good way. I mean, <laughs> we've always said we wished both of them were competitive, right? Right. And I really like justice league, the, the, the Snyder cut. I liked it. It was four hours long, but you can break it up. Right. So and I, and, 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 and cartoon wise, uh, DC always wins. It's not even close. You go animation. Yes. The fan bases that we want. I even have the Encyclopedia DC. They can say everything we did wrong. Uh, Amazon Prime. Johnny, went bold. So I just that was funny. But we haven't had a Marvel reference, or excuse me, we haven't had an Office reference yet. And so I just said crisscross applesauce. What scene from the Office does that make you think of? Uh, read my Johnny. Look at this. Is my it the eyes. basketball one? Read, look into my eyes and read my mind. So isn't it? Is it the basketball one? No. Really. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. They're sitting on the ground and Michael looks down and is like, uh, if you're wearing a skirt. Oh, no know. way. Does he say that? <laughs> the meditation <laughs> on with if you're, <laughs> wearing, if you're wearing a skirt, no wonder where everyone can see you going across your legs. <laughs> um, Meredith sits down. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't know why when I said crisscross applesauce, I was like, I hope Johnny thought the same thing I did. <laughs> Clearly not. Um, no, I thought it was a, a reference. Like, verbatim mm, no no no. sorry okay that is something michael would say though like that would be like one of his basketball moves oh yeah well so. my my big thing was i've been re-watching the the 
the super fan episodes, the deleted ones. Oh, super fans. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the deleted, yeah, they put in the extras. Anyway, the this one that made me laugh. Uh, it was when Dwight had the gun go off when he was the manager for the day, for the week. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they cut to Oscar and he goes, I'm not really scared of Dwight killing me. I'm more scared of Creed killing me. And then it cuts to Creed. He goes, sounds about right. <laughs> That's the office quotes I love. Mm. Yeah, you're, you're starting to do these deep cuts. Hey, on the Superfans episode... There was a, there was a scene that aired when I was a kid that they later cut. So you know sometimes they would they would air the show and then they would get rid of yeah. certain scenes. So the Michael, Halloween one? No, I love that one though. <laughs> but it's it's one where Michael convinces Pam. That oh, the she pizza. Sends, yes. Yeah, I don't remember Super that live. Episodes? Yeah, it's in the Super Fan episodes, but I don't remember it live at all. Dude, it happened live because it was burning in my brain, and I was like, I rewatched the series on Netflix, and I, I wrote on Facebook, I'm like, Hey, how come I haven't seen this scene? Does anyone else remember this? And people Did were no commenting one saying that it, no people were commenting saying that I was an idiot. It never happened. <laughs> that I was making how many stuff handles that I have that day? To call know, you an right? idiot. <laughs> Johnny just likes to tease me. Make, make room for the nerd. Well. That way I stay around you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if I start getting too popular, I get really clicky, and then yeah, before you turn too Hollywood on me. Exactly, Johnny. You gotta you gotta keep me you gotta keep me grounded. You're my lightning rod. Mm. <laughs> I would catch a grenade for you. Would you? Yeah. What if it wasn't a dummy grenade, though? Then I wouldn't. I'm oh, out. Okay. Was this the test? Is this the test? Back <laughs> to great test, Marvel right? movies. <laughs> Back to Marvel movies, which we won't. I don't think we're going to get that era right now. And, you know, I was all for them if they wanted to restart up. That's why I'm more confused. They, they were all gung-ho to start from scratch, kind of, right? Right. Other than, you know, like some Loki, which was fine. He was a good one. Um, you can keep him around if you wanted to redo him. So... It, it To me, it just shows you that you can't get it. So you really can't do the multiverse. It just doesn't work. Because when you're like thousands of universes have perished, it's like, okay, but then nothing matters. Because I don't care about, like, you need small stakes. This is this is the superhero problem in general is every time you think that, oh, like, this is a world ending threat. This is a city ending threat. Now we're going to make it a universe ending threat. Now it's a multiple, like, I don't care. I don't know these people. You and I talk about it all the time. It's way it sadder to watch uh, Martha and... Thomas Wayne shot in Batman Begins than it is to watch Doctor Strange lose his universe in Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, you're like, cool. Yeah. Dude, especially Thomas in that film. Batman Begins. Oh. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. You were staring at me so intensely. I know you normally do, but... <laughs> I, just, I just haven't seen your eyes in like over a month, so I'm just... <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know what that LASIK did to you. It's almost like you have x-ray vision and you're staring I do. at me a little too 2050. Intensely. If I keep staring at it, that beard gets more and more in my face. <laughs> my eyes can see straight through your armor. <laughs> uh, but no, it, it is true, which is weird because Josh Whedon um, is known. Is it? I always mispronounce it. Is it Firefly? What's the name of the Western sci-fi thing he made? I think it's Firefly. Is it Firefly? Yeah. I always confuse that with the with the name of the movie because I had to make a movie. Anyway, um, the the movie that they made. Um, they had to kill someone off and that's to show that they're not immortal. Right. So he's all about it. Whedon. Yeah. But it goes to see, um, isn't it? What is it? Kevin Feige Feige. That's who's in charge. Right. Yeah, Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige. Yeah. And he's super close with, uh, I saw, cause you know, I love to watch the, uh, Rex ham, the documentary with Reynolds and, uh, Mac from always sunny. And you know, Kevin was hanging out with, uh, with Reynolds watching the game so they're super close i don't know i i i want it to be if it's a complex villain but if they're making it into an avengers movie you don't have enough time to build them no they don't so the director of logan james mangold says multiverse multiverse films are the death of storytelling which i agree with i think there's no stakes like there's not you know what i mean like man you care about you care about the the little girl that Superman saves. You don't care about, I don't know, Metropolis. I do. I know. do like when they change the story a little, like the new, the newer Superman, you know, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't Clark Kent first and then Superman. Like Lois met him as, uh, just some wandering guy. And then he moved in over, right. They did it a little differently. <laughs> they tried to do that with the star Trek, um, when they went and, you know, a different universe of star Trek right. when, um, uh, when the Enterprise went down, 
yeah. before Kirk was like growing up with his dad. So he didn't have that father figure growing up. You know, the story, I, I get that concept and, and it works sometimes, but it's too close. We all know who Iron Man is. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. It's Isn't it supposed to drop like 2030 by then? We won't even be watching Johnny, Marvel. This coming from a guy who just said it was going to be an 8.5. <laughs> Oh, I that you asked for a bold prediction. That's bold as you and me liking something. That's true. It's true. I I really enjoyed uh, Dune too. Mm, that's that's everyone enjoyed Dune too. It's true. What about that's Furioso? Do you watch that? I've been hearing. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, people like it. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't have the patience for that. I'm just mad that it's the last season of what we do in the shadows. Womp womp. <laughs> womp womp. That makes me sad. Um. They're going to take forever to drop off Severance. It's more oh, nerd news for you guys. It's like another year out before they drop Severance. So frustrating. Which is our, our highlight of last year. Um, and there's no more movies really coming out, right? I mean, there's I, I, I'm really excited to see the Joker and Harley Quinn. Okay, let me ask you this. Is So we talked about this earlier. We said that Wolverine was not going to pass a billion dollars, right? That has it? Wolverine has not. It's like it's tickling 500 million. So will they get really? another 500? It had a really strong opening. That is a strong opening, though. Yeah. We said no. I, I think it might. It I, might do it. I don't know. I mean, the thing is, too, I didn't realize when we made that prediction. Name one blockbuster. Inside for the out summer. Too. What? Inside Out 2. Yeah, that's not a blockbuster. That's a cartoon, you nerd. <laughs> you know, it's the highest grossing animation film of all time. Well, they have an anxiety one, so we can all relate. <laughs> have you seen that one yet? No. I don't want to cry. Mm, I know. I, I, the reviews have been so good that I really want to see it, but dude, theaters have started to kill me. Like I just, yeah, you're turning into me. I'm like, why watch it when I can stream it? Well, it, no, it's just people kind of like during COVID, they forgot their manners of what you do in theaters. And since then it just, it's never really? come back. Yeah. Are they just on their phones or just coughing or people on their phones? I don't mind coughing. People on their phones, they're bringing in like weird food. So like I'm sitting there and like, there's like crazy smells coming in. <laughs> Like, dude, you did not need to bring in KFC or chicken tandoori and think up that he rips out a whole bucket yeah. of fried chicken yeah. and a suitcase. And and the cheering, I can't stand the cheering. Like, guys, this has been out for three weeks. We don't need to cheer. Oh, okay. Again. See, I love that was my favorite movie experience. I like, I like cheering on opening night, opening week. I hate yeah. it a few weeks. In okay, because there are times where you cheer and you you miss quotes or or whatever. Okay. Because I was going to say, I loved it for Endgame was one of my best movie experiences. And that was like the second night. Yeah, and I like came that. Out. But that, again, it, it goes back to that. So, and I'll just give you an example. My sister-in-law went and saw the new Spider-Man and someone next to her, like, must have had Therese or something. Because it was like every little thing she's going, <laughs> like very vocally. And she's like twitching, I guess, and like pumping her fist in the air. And there was something. Anyway, it's just stuff like that happens all the time. Well, just buy the we Lazy had, Boy chairs. We had someone bring in Lay's potato chips, and it was like they were crinkling. Oh, the that's so loud. I was <sighs> losing it, dude. Yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like people have kind of stopped with normal things. They'll kick your chair. I don't know. So, I'm I'm kind of over it. Uh, I'm turning into an old, grumpy man. Like, Join the club. The, yeah. So... Okay, Johnny, that's our bold takes. Uh, Inside Out 2 really did do that, though. They, they're the highest grossing animated film. I, I can see it. it, it there's wow. nothing else going on. Parents and young families, they want to watch something. It's still affordable to go to the movies compared to other things in the world right now, right? So if you want, like, a family outing instead of going to a water park, which is $3,000, you go to a movie. Well, and I think it lends itself to the idea of make good movies, you idiots. Like... I don't know that that other Disney film they came out with. It's not Maleficent, but it's like the origin story of the mirror on the wall. I don't remember what it's called even, but just terrible. Like th there have been so many bad movies Disney's put out lately, and this is I feel like is a return to form for Pixar, where it's like I really enjoyed Luca. Elemental was fine. I think this one is like very much a return to prime Pixar, well done animation, really creative storytelling, like very relatable. You know what I mean? Hmm. I don't know. And it's a coming of age tale that I think is very well needed. And I don't know. Yeah. I'm, a, I, I, I need to watch it clearly. I'm very intrigued by it. All I'm trying to say is I think that it's, it comes down to good stories. People have been telling really bad stories lately. When you're telling a good story, when you have good writers, when you give them the time, when there's passion put into it, you're going to, you're going to do well at the box office. That's true. A lot of them are just giving up and doing streaming sites because it's easy. 
and only one out of 10 of those are worth watching. And that's a streaming site. Well, and sometimes it's just like, you just like, it doesn't feel like a passion thing. Like, so Captain Marvel is a good example for me or uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where it felt like someone wanted to tell a story. They didn't want to tell an MCU story. You know what I mean? Like it didn't fit at all in the universe. I don't know. There's, there, I watched a video where it was like 15 plot holes that, that are major plot holes with Captain Marvel that make no sense in, in the film. Only 15? I know, wow. right? Basically. <laughs> and and it's like, it doesn't. this doesn't make sense in the universe. And it, so it, to me, it's like, I don't even know if the, the director or in writers were that like aware of what had come before. You know what I mean? Yeah, because they figured it was in the 90s, so it didn't matter. Yeah. It's, it goes back to, palp- again, bringing people back just for the sake of nostalgia doesn't work if it's bad storytelling. Like, did... Yeah, um, if it's organic. Well, Rise of Skywalker, it made some money, sure. But, like, not enough. And it killed Star Wars. Like, Star Wars has not had a good project since, other than Mando Season 2. Yeah, people Season 2. Been, people have been pissed, honestly. Season 3 was bad. Acolyte's been okay. I haven't watched it. You know, but it's, like, 600 years before. Right. But it's the same story. And it got reviewed bombed so hard that I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't listen to reviews. Usually I like the ones that people hate. I've been, dude, I've been really getting into like anime and stuff lately because they oh tell good gosh, stories. Yes. Right? It's so bad. Dude, like, I've there's been so this one. For good stories. There's this one. It's literally like a cartoon version of My Hero Academia. It's called Welcome to Demon School. You've told Here's me the premise it. a demon kidnaps this kid. It's all creepy. Then I don't know where he turns into a grandpa. The demon is like, will you be my grandson? And that's the whole thing. It's just like a a doting grandpa who brings a human (laughs) into the demon realm. It's so dumb, but I was more entertained with that than I've been with any Star Wars Marvel thing in a while. Totally. Demon Slayer, which I keep telling you to watch. I know. Everyone keeps yelling at it. I I want movies to watch Demon Slayer. Well, it's and the thing is, if you can't see this wall behind me, nerds, if you're listening, I collect a lot of nerd stuff. And any time I go anywhere... It's all Demon Slayer on the anime side. It's hard to find my hero. It's hard to find um, Black Clover, like my two favorite ones. But Demon Slayer's everywhere. I started uh, Death Note. Have you watched that one? I'm scared. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Death Note. Um, I really enjoyed One Piece, but it's based on an anime that's really, like, it was a really good passion. <sighs> one Piece is great. Tell. I keep telling you, you watch. see the passion. Watch One Pace. One Pace. One, one pa- no. One pace. Yeah, it's called one pace. It fast forwards through everything. Okay. I'll That'll get you to like season 19. <laughs> That'll get you to like season 190. It's so long. I, I have it in the background. I can't follow it. It's just so bad. Dude, My Hero Academia has been great. Uh, one Punch Man. Highly recommend. Like this is this is really passionate. No, I've been all about just... anime. I'm with you on that, man. Like oh. the, the Hulu now only recommends anime for me. Oh. Yeah, what we do in the shadows even is really passionate. I feel uh, like like it's don't 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 bring it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a very sad year. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, the um, Severance is a good one. Like when you make quality things, the box office follows. And Disney, they, they, they just threw everything at the wall. And see dude, what would stick. Yeah, they they just think, oh, if we get the right actors and it has some of these, you know, AI story beats, it'll be good. And it's like, no, 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 no. It needs to be more than that. It's, it's not even the actors. They just go, we can do whatever we want. We're Marvel. And they do. And sometimes that worked. Like Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, no one had heard of them. And they made an incredible film. But again, it goes back to. But that's actors and Panish. Yes. Yeah. Good storytelling. I would say right, the writers and the directors are way more important than any actor. I don't know. Maybe you disagree with me. Well, I, I mean, I, I think it's it's um, cohesive, right? It's It's all. Who who would have thought that? I mean, I like Ant Man. Who would have thought Paul Rudd would make a good superhero? Right. But you could, yeah. Okay, we're getting into a tangent. So, what okay. us tangents? <laughs> we're getting into a cosine over sine or sine over. Uh, co- I don't know which one's which. I, I fail basic math. Is. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Johnny, give me give me kind of some final thoughts as we close out. Okay, so Knights, what I really want here's what I want from the Avengers if they do this right. If they give me a complex Victor Von Doom, I'll be okay with it. Or if they hide Robert Downey Jr.'s face a little bit more, so I don't have to be like, oh, Iron Man's wearing him. I mean, he even made fun of it. Oh, it's another mask. New me, new mask or something. Like, even they joked about it. Right. Same Uh, or same mask, different goal, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Something. It's just so. My hope is if they make him a little complex, I'll like it unfortunately they know we're gonna watch it 
So it doesn't really matter what they do. We'll see it. But uh, so my final take is K I S S. Keep it simple, stupid heads. But if they mess it up, like it won't matter if RDJ's in it or not. We're not going to see the next one if this one's bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, gonna, I mean, we're, we're going to we'll wait till it's on a streaming site. It's like Rise of Skywalker. Like we'll go see it because you're bringing Palpatine back. But if you do a bad job, we're not going to care about any of the new stuff because you're totally going to burn us out. And they did, and now they got to take a five year hiatus. Yes. So, okay, my bold prediction on that same vein, if if it has a really solid origin story, I'm talking like 45 minutes, maybe flashback, I don't know. I In want, a movie? Dude, I really want RDJ to have like a solid I want it too, but they're story. not going to do it on a, that has to be his own solo movie. Dude, wouldn't that be so cool if they did that? That's what I was thinking they were going to do at first. Like, here's the Joker, and then bring him into Batman, Dude, right? It should be, so they have secret projects, right? Like, quote unquote, they should have one where they don't even market it. They just randomly release a film. That doesn't even have to be a film. Story. You're could, right. Do a miniseries. They, imagine if they did a, just a 40 minute origin story on Disney Plus that just randomly showed up one day. Like, Dude, and, and, and it could be like three 30 minute ones, right? Like a miniseries. Yes. Perfect. That would be incredible. With with RDJ at the helm, are you kidding? Oh, of me? course, of course. Just showing wow. how he became that. And then that way, when we transition to watching him in the big screen, we won't be like, oh, it's Iron Man. Yeah. yeah. We'll have a very established base of who he is. Yes. You're 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 so smart. You're so so effing smart. Effing smart. Good thing Disney listens to our podcast. I've I heard I've heard of stuff like that. They listen to us. Dude, it seems like it. Based at on least one of the execs do. Cause and effect stuff yeah. happening. <laughs> All right, Knights. What do you think about this? What do you think, Johnny? What, what should we ask him? Do you are you excited Knights, about are, the choice? Yeah. Are you like us and can't do multiple? Act- Some people can do it. Can you do multiple actors in the same universe? Or I guess the same actor playing different roles Two in the same characters. universe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and what, what do you want from it? I mean, this is, this is our passion, right? What do you want to see coming from it? Do you want him just to hide his face and be scary? Or do you want him to steal every scene he's in? Yeah. Let us know in the comments below and we will catch you on the flippity flop. Flippity flip.